Hey guys, welcome to our channel Coders Arcade. So with this video, we are going to start a new playlist on Git. So in this course, you will learn everything you need to know to get started with Git. If you are an absolute beginner or if you have been using Git for a while but never really understood how Git works, then this tutorial is for you. Together, we are gonna learn all the fundamental concepts as well as all the essential commands that you need to know to get started on Git. So by the end of this tutorial, you will have a good grasp of basics and you will be ready to learn more about the intermediate and advanced concepts on Git. Now let's jump in and get started. So what is Git and why is it so popular? Git is the most popular version control system in the world. A version control system records changes made to a code over time in a special database called repository. You can look at the project history and see who has made what changes, when and why. And if we messes something up, we can easily revert our project back to our earlier state. Without version control system, we need to constantly store copies of the entire projects in various folders. This is very slow and doesn't scale at all. Especially when multiple people have to work on same project. You have to constantly toss around the latest code by email or some other mechanism and manually merge the changes. So, in a nutshell, with the version control system, we can track our project history and work together. Now, version control system falls into two categories, centralized and distributed. In centralized system, all team members connect to a central server to get the latest copy of the code and to share the changes with others. Subversion and Microsoft Team Foundation server are example of centralized version control system. The problem with this architecture is single point of failure. If the server goes down or if the server goes offline, we cannot collaborate or save snapshots of a project. So we have to wait until the server comes back online. In distributed systems, we don't have these problems. Every team member has a copy of the project with its history on his machine. So we can save snapshots of our projects locally on a machine. Even if the central server is offline, we can synchronize our work directly with others. Git and Mercurial are the examples of distributed version control systems. Out of these, Git is the most popular version control system in the world because it is free, open source, super fast and scalable. Operations like branching and merging are slow and painful in other version control systems like subversion or TFS, but these are really fast in Git. And we will talk about this later. So Git is almost everywhere. More than 90% of software projects in the world uses Git. That is why Every job description for software developer mentions Git. So if you are looking for a job as software developer, Git is one of the skills you must have on your resume. You should know it inside out. You should know how it works and how to use it to track your project history and collaborate with others effectively. And that's exactly what we are going to learn in this course. So stay tuned and subscribe to our channel Coders Arcade if you haven't already and press the bell icon so that you will get notified when we post a new video. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.